Hey everyone, it's Julia and Bambi in the G20. Of course, she's not laying in the, around in the van all the time. We just went on our second giant big walk, run, hike through the desert over there. So yeah, I am just having the best time ever. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm actually having a horrible time. It's been horrible, horrible experience. What's been happening is every day is filled with problem after problem after problem. And I can't seem to get any work done, which is what I most need to do. I was kind of on a hat roll right before I realized Bambi was pregnant. And ever since then, I have been in a funk. Um, well, since after then, but once we got it done, I thought there would be relief and I could get back to work. But there hasn't been any relief um, what's going on is I'm, it, every day it's something. So today was supposed to be a particular hat that is, was ordered 10 days ago. And, um, I realized I didn't have the main yarn that I need for it. Every other yarn that's in that hat, which is about 15 different yarns. It's kind of a cool hat. A custom order. That rust I don't have. So I got to go to the yarn store and get it. So today's big thing was to send out the hat that I, a hat I just sold, go to the yarn store, get that yarn, and focus on making this hat today. Which also was the goal yesterday to focus on making this hat. But uh, the day started out, the yarn needle's ready, and the guy starts talking to me, who's parked next to me. A guy I ended up really liking, because we talked for five hours during my work day. But uh, he wanted to see my dog, and that's where it started. Then another friend came up, and pretty soon the sun's going down. I'm like, I gotta get to work. But by then, there was too much sun coming in the van, so we reparked. But then these homeless people are fighting. Uh, oh no, the first thing came up. As soon as I turn off the engine, I'm like, Phew. privacy, somewhere to get some work done before the sun goes down. Please wait for your third walk. No, the old man has to come, hey, I like your van. And I just, I was like, look, I don't have time or energy to talk with anybody right now. So I got this like a $25 hat done in like an hour and 10 minutes or something. It was amazing. Bambi and I took a beautiful walk. Vowed again today to get, get going to work before four. It's hard to crochet in the van at night because I have to turn on the light and I'm afraid I'll kill my battery. Also, the, you know, everybody can see you're in there with the light, but that's okay. You know, it's cool to do that here. But um, today's thing was uh, I went to three different gas stations and my bank card wouldn't work at any of them. And then I'm almost out of gas. So I'm using up a bunch of gas to find gas ugh, at 409 a gallon, mind you. So I'm looking for the 385 or whatever. And so I go to the so I had to go to the bank and get a new card, which will be sent luckily to my brother's address in La Mesa doesn't have to go all the way to South Carolina where my permanent address is and then get sent to my brothers in La Mesa and then wait, 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 wait for that. So that ended up working out, but it did take that time. Uh, so then uh, finally made it over to the shipping and to the yarn store where suddenly over the loudspeaker, will the owner of a black van please come out to the cashier, the owner of a black van. Excuse me, it's a spotted van, but anyway, so I go up to the front and they're like, ma'am, we've had um, uh, some concerns expressed about your dog in the van. I was like, okay, thank you, she's fine. I go back, now she has to wait longer, by the way. Thank you, we just have to tell the person anytime there's a complaint. Okay, thank you, yeah. The window is completely down, see like that? Oh wait. What, oh, that's the other door showing with the... But this one here is open all the way with the screen. Why am I yelling at you? Sorry. Yeah, actually, there were seven windows open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven windows for my dog. Um, by the way, if they didn't cut down all the trees and make all these... Totally cement parking lots, blazing hot for you to put your car in, which is fine, of course, if you have AC. Uh, this is the attitude I've had for over a week. So, yeah, so I finally, I go back to the yarn section. I find the yarn I need to come out. It's been five minutes, seven minutes maybe now. 
I go to the front, I get everything, I'm resolved to be positive. I walk outside, they're calling the police about my dog. They don't want to talk to me. They don't want to make sure the dog's okay. They're going to call the police because the police are the best people to handle dog issues. I mean, what is this? What? How is that going to help the dog owner or the dog? So I come out, I go, is there a problem? Yeah, your dog can't be in that van. It's almost 80 degrees out here. 80 degrees. <laughs> yeah, we've done more than that, sister. <laughs> this dog was just picked up and rescued off the side of the road after being hit by a car. Okay, I did that. You think she's in trouble in the van with seven windows open? So I walk up to the window and I go, the window is entirely open. She goes, yeah, but that screen is not preventing enough air coming through. And I'm like, what business is it of yours? We've got two windows here. This window's open. I've got three in the back. That's seven windows. You can't have a dog in a van because she's going to overheat. And, and you need a better attitude. I'm like, look, I'm having a hard time here. You want to help me out so that my life's better so my dog's not waiting outside for five minutes in a van? No. I said, screw you. You should watch your language. Mind your own business. And they also told me that dogs are like babies. Yeah, I get that. This is my dog and my van. It's none of your business. I should have waited there for the police if I was wanting to deal with the police. Because all I had to tell the police was, sir, there are seven. Win what? She goes, the law in California says you can't do that. Does the law in California say seven open windows is not enough? I highly doubt that. But not wanting to deal with that, we took off. Instead of going to the grocery store behind the craft store where I was going to go, where there's an outlet where I could charge my computer, which has been dead for two days, so that I can work. <laughs> it's like, lady, just... so we pull out of there. We drive all the way to Ocean Beach where it's super hot. There's homeless people and dogs everywhere. So... Thanks for listening. That was just today. So that's an example of how it's been every single day. Not to mention being woken up most nights by something. As lovely as it is here and how easy it is to park. I'm waiting to go to my brother's to sew up a pair of patchwork pants someone ordered for $215. I found the pants. I have the patches. I have everything ready to go. Just waiting for him to respond to me. And apparently... It's okay to come there and sew, but there's some glitch about parking overnight there now. So now we'd have to drive all the way back to the beach. Oh yeah, the van has problems. And uh, I just called the mechanic to cancel the $85 diagnosis um, because I'm so weary to even let that go. And knowing I don't have enough for the repair anyway. Uh, I think it's the water pump at this point. So, but when I called the cancel, he let me know that, oh, he was already going to, I've waited a week to get in there. A week. And I told him, I have the money right now. Let's do this. I waited a week. It's the day before. He, I call him and someone has to go to the hospital or something. He's not going to be able to do it tomorrow. But I didn't get a phone call. I would have driven out there. He was nice enough to say, you know what? Um, I don't want you to be unsafe. So even if you can't pay sometime next week, blah, blah, blah. When you're able to come in in the evening, I'll at least do a test drive. Make sure you're not going to die. This is a cool guy, but man... <sighs> So it's not meant to be. There's another mechanic I'm supposed to go to from a message I got from someone else, another mechanic about a water pump that is supposed to help me, and I should have just gone there. And we might just go there tomorrow. I'll just tell them, look, I don't have any money for a diagnosis right now. Maybe I won't tell them that. I should be like, listen to this. Does this sound like the water pump? So the other thing I've been dealing with is Bambi dog, and I've had... Honestly, I have not kept you abreast of how hard it's been having this particular Belgian Malinois high energy dog in the van. It's not that a lifestyle in the van isn't good for her. It's just a matter of keeping up with her. So I'm doing three walks every day at the walk, meaning a, one of them is a giant long hike of some kind in hills and trails somewhere with some running or a free release on the beach somewhere where there's no people or dogs because I can't keep the van, the dog in the van all the time, but I also can't let her out wherever they're saying, oh, just bring your dog here. All the dogs are allowed there. Well, that means all the dogs are here and she's been aggressive. So dealing with Bambi has been really hard the last couple of weeks. We're, and so I've, and I haven't kept you abreast, but I've already researched. There are three, 
three specifically Belgian Malinois rescue groups in San Diego because there's such a popular dog here, but nobody knows how to handle them. So people keep getting them and then bringing them to the rescue. And then they find them homes in Idaho where they can run free. This is serious or with military marathon people or whatever. Because I've considered giving up Bambi. And again, it's not because uh, van life wouldn't be good for a dog. That's ridiculous. Did that just end? No. Oh, someone sent me a message. So it's because whether I can handle this dog for the next 10 years or not, and whether it will make my life impossible to be able to earn enough money even to live in a van. Because I need to go get online, and I can't do that in the van. I need a power source. I need a bunch of stuff. I need new glasses, you know. I need a new arm from her pulling me. <laughs> so actually... She's really smart and she's been training really well, but she's just a super high energy dog and she's had some aggression issues. Usually it's just she's so high energy, it's this darting forward. There's no biting or anything. So two days ago when Dave 2D Vlogs and I were chatting on the beach, <laughs> it's true, it's true. Dave 2D Vlogs came up to me one day here at OB. He was like, hey, aren't you Julia? I was like, Dave, oh my God, you're a real person. So then we saw each other uh, again, and we were chatting it up, and Bambi was in a full lay down. She had run. Well, actually, she was running, and then two dogs came out running, so we had to get back in the van, go repark, find another spot where there weren't dogs running, and so we let her run again, but then there was Dave 2D Vlogs. <laughs> so he comes over to my van, and Bambi's now laying down, and in an instant, she jumped up, ran around the van to greet, greet, very quick, greeting another dog who was riding with her owner on a bicycle um and I didn't see it but I guess her the lady's dog stopped to greet my dog or defend itself or whatever and the lady fell over on her bike yeah serious stuff and this is after I was already considering what to do what what do I really need to do for myself and this dog my dog it could be that I'm just the rescuer of this dog which would also still be wonderful but it would totally suck that I have to lose a dog twice in one year's time and mourn this one now too and be alone and be insecure can't leave the van now without a dog oh but you can't leave a dog in a van either by the way and you can't have them outside from nine to six any beach or bay area they just we just get away with it up here at OB unless they want to tell us not to so I'm totally flustered. And um, by the way, the lady was this homeless lady. She was like, everything's fine. I brought out hydrogen peroxide and napkins. And she was like, it's totally fine. I'm fine. And um, she said, you know, my son died in my arms at age 22. If that didn't kill me, none of this other stuff matters, she said. And I was very apologetic, but it was the seriousness of my situation with my dog. So that's the other thing that's been going on that's been incredibly frustrating. But to top it off, I do want to add that Bambi's been doing really well, both of us, the last three days. Uh, the problem is not just her, it's me. I am processing or dealing with or having come up a lot of anger right now. I am more angry than I could describe about multiple things. About my godmother's house, about her son sending me 29 threatening texts because I happened to ask if the dog was neutered. And you don't even know about that. You don't even know what I've been through lately. See, and now I'm all in this victim mode. It's horrible. Um, I'm extremely angry about that. I'm extremely angry about Pai Mei dying. I'm extremely angry about buying this van and being to 13 mechanics and I still don't have any answers. And this other mechanic just told me that they didn't do the $400 brake job, that nothing was done. It was all a scam. And that I don't have a throttle body, so they didn't do the throttle body gasket. It's like, I am so frustrated, you guys. So, I haven't done a video in a while because it's been negative, but I needed to update you. Now, I got to go figure out where to plug in at some point and give you this video. Um, I know things will get better, but they're really rough right now. And this is my dog. And unless I were to find her a really good home, not a home, a, a workplace, then I won't let her go. Thanks for watching my channel. I think I must be up to 500 subscribers now. Not to be ungrateful, but it only took three years. Um, thanks, Dave 2 d Vlogs, for mentioning how few subscribers I have. And I've been dwelling on it for the last week. Love you, man. <laughs> thanks for watching, honestly. Thanks for subscribing. We'll be back to more interviews.